Welcome to the Astra Theme Mega Footer tutorial. In this video, I'll be going over creating one of these large footers with the Astra Theme step by step. This is a little uh, practice shop that I created. Uh, if you're already running the Astra Theme, you, you can just click Customize and then go to Footer Builder. First thing you notice is that there are three rows that you can use in this tutorial. I only use two and a lot of websites go with this two row approach where the large area is first and then there's kind of a uh, little copyright section down below. Uh, the first thing you notice is that there's a background photo for the entire footer. That's under Footer Builder Design. And then right here, background image, you click the uh, you click the little color here, you set it to transparent, and then you install the image here. Under more settings, uh, center, center position, and size cover. Cover helps you cover the entire space instead of it repeating. All right, so if you have a background image, it, um, I got this off Pixabay, and I actually created a video, a uh, longer video, on all of the steps involved with that. I'll put it in the video description. Okay, next. You'll notice that to get the widgets in your footer, you just click the plus, and you choose the widget that it gives you an option. But one of the things that um, you sort of have to plan out is if you want several columns you click this little gear here and then you set the column right here in the general area here i'm using a three column and then you'll see right here i'm choosing two columns for the links and one large column for the video i also uh had some extra space down here so I wanted to show off the idea that this column can actually hold two widgets and then you can stack them side by side or um, right here inner elements either stacked or in line so this can get really messy real fast if you don't just plan it out and say okay I want four columns one widget per column or I want three columns one widget per column. What I ended up doing was I said, well, I'll just do three columns, three widgets, and I had an extra little space here, and I said, well, I'll just put the logo in there just to take up some space because it, this was kind of empty. So when you start to look at the actual widgets, I wanted to um, look at sort of how these widgets work because it can be a little bit confusing when you click, let's see, this is widget one. When you click to add a widget and you initially add it, it will take you to the footer widget builder. So this is a widget that you can choose for your footer. And within this, you can add several widgets. So you'll see right here, I used the custom HTML widget within my footer widget one. If I wanted to add more to it, like, like, a, you know, like a calendar or the cart or an image, I could add that in addition to this HTML that's already in there. And it would just appear below this widget here. So that's another complication but it's also very customizable in the fact that each footer widget builder can contain multiple widgets within it uh, if you don't have too much stuff to put in here I would just go with one widget per footer widget builder see how I have one two three and four if you do multiple widgets within it, like, oh, I really wanted to put my photo beneath it, you don't have to use up a second widget. You could just put the image in the footer widget builder and have multiple widgets within footer widget one. You just kind of have to keep track of what all is in this widget. So you click it, delete it, add another widget to it. Like, let's say 
added a search magnifying glass title search done and you'll see now I have uh, another little space below this and this is all footer widget uh, footer builder widget one uh, you'll see that I put the contact info here I called it contact this is a custom HTML widget so I called it contact and then that's what was uh, came into the footer and then I added a little bit of style to the address which is an h5 so you'll notice let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so when each one of these sections comes up I'll, all I have to do is copy the h5 and copy the paragraph copy it make a new line and paste it and then I could change whatever uh, whatever I want to uh, add to this widget whatever contact info so that's how I did the contact I'm gonna get rid of the search box and so there's just one widget within the footer widget one footer widget here you'll see I, I actually did that I did a nav menu and another nav menu this is an easy way to get the navigation links on your page and this way you don't have to uh, create the HTML yourself to do that though you have to create the menu and if you haven't created the menu you would go back to menus here in the customizer and you would do create new menu and let's say I wanted to do like favorite products. So I call this menu favorite products. And then I'm not going to choose any location. Next, add items. And now I would go to products and I would start adding some products. Okay. Now that I've added the products I wanted to, I'm going to save it. Now I've created the menu. Now I just need to add that widget to this area. So I go back to the footer builder and I go to the row or I go to this actual widget. And you'll see I have this nav menu which corresponds to this one and this nav menu which corresponds to this one and I'm going to add another widget to this widget I'm going to type in nav menu okay title popular oops popular products and then I can select it here done and you'll see that I actually made the uh, mega menu much larger so maybe I'll get rid of this categories one that I created and I would probably have to add even more stuff to it just to make it work but for the purposes of this video I'm going to just go back to the way I had it And then I select the uh, the one I created for the video. Okay. And then I also uh, incorporated a widget with a video. So this is a widget that I just said plus add a widget. And then when you go here, I added the widget here. And then I called it the ultimate iron lotus. And then when you click it. Uh, this is I'm going to make another video about this, but this is a video from place it so you can actually put your products on these videos and then show off your products in a video. So it's a very nice uh, service that will really show off your products in a good uh, most, you know, professional and quality uh, production value. So. Uh, for the price, it's uh, like eight bucks a month for a year. Or so this is a, a great tool 
to uh, a lot of these product images are from Placeit. So I just wanted to show off that service and leave a, a link in the video to subscription. And as well, you'll see I changed the title color here. Okay, so this is the title color, the ultimate Iron Lotus. And then you can change all of the other stuff, the title font size and stuff like that. But yeah, the video, I put that on my YouTube channel as private but embeddable. And then you can um, put the link in there. I think if you choose not edit, replace, and then you just choose insert from URL. And then you can just put that from a, a private YouTube station into your site. And then widget two is just my logo, but I just use the image. So you just add a widget and then image right here. And then you just find the one you want and you'll see it right there. So let's get rid of that. All right, so what's next? We have our social icons here. So this is the bottom row and uh, you can adjust the height. You can adjust the color if you click the gear, design, background. Where did it go? Okay, it's still transparent. I have to, okay. So if you don't want it to be transparent like the rest of it, and then uh, you can also put the background image on this this row only. So you have a lot of different options. You see I just, so now I have a background image on the whole thing with the row covering it up. Whereas I could have just selected this gear here, design and background image I could have put it just on that area too and then you also see I did a nice thick border this is a nice little uh, touch just to give the user a heads up that they're at the bottom you do a, a border color a thick 20 pixel and so that's kind of uh, one interesting little touch and that's for this row only. If you were to add another row, then you would do the border on that one. And uh, what else? I was going to show what the background looks like without maybe like a dark gray. That's what it looks like without the without the uh, background image. So. It's an option too, and then I just click the plus and put in my social, add a social icon, design, got the color there for a white icon, and we got the copyright widget here. And you'll see I added two widgets to one little section because there's just a one, but if you want, you just click the little plus there add another one if you want and you'll notice this footer menu is just another option for Astra if you don't want to make just a standard nav menu you can make a menu and then designate it the footer menu and then you just choose this footer menu so to do that I would go to menus it's not essential but if you're confused about what's going on this is where you make a menu. So I create a new menu. And I say this is, this is going to be my footer menu. And see, this is where I set it. I say, this is my footer menu. Next. I'm going to add items. And I don't have the pages, but if I had like a, a privacy page and terms and conditions page, I would do that, but and I would choose them here. But since I don't have those pages right now, I'm going to add the sample page, and I'm going to add a custom link. Custom links. 
and this is just a placeholder this is going to be my bright the link text privacy add to menu terms and conditions add to menu and returns whoops put that down here the URL is just the pound sign add to menu okay so now you got your footer menu and now you can publish that and then I'm going to adjust this row here and I'm going to add footer menu it's more or less the same thing we did with the widget but we just selected the nav menu within the widget this is just a little bit uh, simpler way to think about it we got them stacked we could do them inline and it didn't do anything when I chose inline maybe it would if I reloaded it I'm not sure but I mean you can create more rows by adjusting the columns here you can have up to six columns so there's no reason to really worry about stacking or inline if you want them in line just change the columns to two or three and then just put each widget in each one so that's pretty much it for the Astra mega footer tutorial if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment um, looks like my my paint.net restarted um, I wanted to put my little splash end screen up there for the end of my video uh, more print on demand tutorials coming and find the ultimate resource list below in the video description